Hi everyone and welcome to my channel today. I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for you on drawing and painting Victorian waifs and children. I got the inspiration for drawing these Victorian children from some old photographs. If you haven't got old photographs, just go to the library or look on some free internet sites. There's plenty of photos there to look at to inspire you. Not to copy, but just looking at the clothing, looking at the hats, looking at the hair. They all come into play. I'm working on a torn piece of 300 GSM watercolour paper. You can saw me use a mechanical pencil to draw the outlines and then I rub them back with a kneadable eraser. The ink I'm using is a Parker ink and there's plenty of other brands on the market. Just make sure that they are water soluble because we actually need the ink to move around. The pen I'm using is just a glass dip pen. You can buy those very cheaply online or at your local art shop. I've just dipped it into the ink and you can see that I'm working on the outlines of the child at the moment. Another pen you could use is just a normal nib dip pen. You could even use a skewer just to dip into the ink and draw with. Here I'm just finishing off the drawing with some simple lines just to indicate some marks on the shawl and I picked up just a brush it's just a round about a number two I think the brand I'm using is Neef and that's plain water on the brush that's just picking up the water soluble ink and I'm going to work that around to add more details to the drawing Here you can see me just adding some plain water just around the outside edges of the little figure and that's softening the background and making it look old and, um, and just really pretty and nostalgic. You could also use different coloured inks for these drawings. Imagine what sepia or a burnt sienna or a burnt umber would look like. Even a green, that would look lovely too. Anyway, it's just good to experiment. So I'll pop that person drawing to one side to dry. I'll do another one for you and then we will come back to the first drawing and finish it off. Here you can see me tearing another piece of watercolour paper. I really do love those torn edges on these little drawings. What could you do with them? You could stick them to a greeting card. You could just frame them as they are. Give them to a friend. Here I'm just drawing with a mechanical pencil again. Just getting in those basic details. You don't need to put everything in. It's just a guide at this stage. Again, I'm rubbing back with that kneadable eraser. Some of you might ask why a kneadable eraser. The reason is watercolour paper has a sizing on it. If you rub too hard with one of those hard rubber erasers, you could break that sizing. And when you're painting with your watercolours on there, it can grab. So always use just one of those kneadable erasers. Here's the little face going in, what a sweetie with those big open eyes. Okay. 
So here we are, I'm just adding clear water again to move that ink around. What a sweetie. Just working my way over the clothing. Some more clear water, just picking it up as I need it so that the brush doesn't get too dry. And here I am just adding some more water to the outside edges so that I get that background. A little bit on the eyes. They're a little bit dark. I'll fix that in a moment. I'll just pick up a tissue and give them a blot. Here we go. And instant removal of the ink. A little bit of shading on the face. And there it is. Here's a couple of pens that I use. You can really use any uh, black fibre tipped pen. It doesn't have to be a waterproof pen. You could even use a gel pen if you wanted to. These are just a fine liner and I'm using them just to pull back some details into the drawing. So I'm basically putting those outlines back in. A little bit of shading, a little bit of cross hatching here and there. Just adding a bit of tone by making certain parts darker. There she is, done. Just a little signature. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching my little video on drawing Victorian waifs and children. I thought I'd just do this one for you as a final one because she's got the most enormous bow in her hair and she's just so cute with her curly hair. You can see how just adding the pen work brings out the finer details in the artwork.
So just finishing off this little girl and at the end of the video you will see some little clips of some finished artworks. If you're looking for me you can find me on Facebook, Linda Brown Artist. I'm also on Instagram, Linda underscore Brown underscore Artist. If you're interested in joining my art group on Facebook you can definitely find me there and it's just Art with Linda Brown. It's just a group where I just share some painting tips, any classes that I'm doing, workshops. And you can also ask me questions too. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit my subscribe button. Press the little bell for notifications and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will be very very happy to answer them. So it's bye from me, have a lovely day, bye bye.